Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and is this a Blackwing deck profile on screen? I believe it is. Is this the only shirt that I own? Has yet to be seen. But anyway, what we have here is we have a Blackwing deck profile that was sent in by a viewer for my opinions of, basically. He said I can make a video about it showcasing it, showcasing the profile, explaining like what I think about Blackwings in the current format, using it as an example, as well as he would like to see some, uh, some feedback from people in the comments down below. Uh, so, I'm not going to name him because he is asking not to be named, mainly because I don't think he wants to be made fun of for liking Black Wings, because honestly, who can blame him? But anyway, this deck list came from my uh, Facebook fan page and my personal email address that I have that I always have linked in the description of all of my videos. I've started using those a lot more frequently now because, honestly, I'm a terrible human being when it comes to networking and, like, remembering to do certain things. It's just something that's just horrible I'm horrible at and so I'm starting to more frequently use those and actively pursue them and use you know my Facebook fan page as a place to talk to people and look at my email where I tell you guys to send me deck lists for stuff and actually check it on a regular basis because I'm really horrible about not using something for like a day and then just completely forgetting that it exists and this also stems down to talking to people as well like if I don't talk to someone for like two or three days I will just legit forget that they exist for a day or two or they will be like the furthest thing in the back of my mind which is really upsetting when you consider just how much I actually really care about my friends when I'm actually talking to them and talking to people online and stuff like that I actually care about a lot of people very deeply but for some reason, I just have this horrible memory lapses of just not in my immediate life, but so not really going to be remembered kind of thing. But that's neither here nor there. But anyway, what we have is we have this uh, Blackwing deck profile for the uh, new format. And like I said, uh, if you have any critiques or anything like that, then leave them in the comments down below. I would like to see them as well as Homeboy would like to see them. But basically, I'm actually like a big fan of Blackwings as a concept. I really like the archetype. I just feel like they're unfortunately horribly outdated. Uh, but with the addition of Brio, people seem to think that Black Wings are going to be able to be able to do something in the format, and whether or not that's going to be able to be something that's actually foreseeable and doable is is basically probably not going to be seen. But anyway, the uh, deck profile that was sent, he's got three Black Wing Chris, the Crack of Dawns, three Bora, the Spears, one Zephyros, the Elite, three Gale, the Whirlwind, two Kalut, the Moon Shadow, three Panaki, the Waxing Moon, which is my favorite Black Wing by far. I love this card. Uh, it absolutely is just like my favorite one. Uh, one, Gladius, the Midnight Sun. Two, Blizzard, the Far Norths. One, Oroshi, the Squall. And then the one, Randy, Max C for a hand trap. And then for the spells, the Cream of the Crop. Three, Black Whirlwind. Three, Allure of Darkness. One, Rageki. One, Instant Fusion. And one, Soul Charge. I can imagine Soul Charge being incredibly sacky in this deck. You just like make Raikiri and then you Soul Charge like four Black Wings and pop four cards on the board. That sounds like it's broken. Uh, but still. Soul Charge is unfortunately a one-of, but anyway. In the traps, he has the newly limited Imperial Order, three Icarus Attack, three Dimensional Barrier, three Solemn Strike, and one Solemn Warning. So, this deck definitely has access to some of the best traps it's ever had access to in its existence and time frame, uh, but I don't know if that's enough to really, like, save it, uh, because every deck has access to these traps, let's be real. But, for the extra deck, one Assault Blackwing, so Haya, the Rainstorm, one Brianak, Dragon of the Ice Barrier, newly limited with its new errata, which is actually still pretty decent, pretty good for any deck that's able to make it quickly, easily, and, econ and economically. But uh, one Blackwing Nothung the Starlight, which is really good. Being a themed Seraph Knight for the deck is actually just really cool, especially when you start stacking that up with Black Whirlwind being on the board. Like, that's actually just really good. Uh, one Armor Master, one Raikiri, the Rain Shower, one Obsidian Hawk Joe, one Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier, one Leo, one, uh, one Omimaru, the Divine Thunder. This thing's actually super easy to summon, actually. If you summon your Akiri and it dies, then you can assault, uh, then you can, uh, Blackwing Blizzard into Sohaya. Sohaya will be treated as a tuner, and when it's summoned, it brings back Raikiri, and then Raikiri and Sohaya equal 12, so that's actually a way you can make this. So that's actually just a really cool thing that you're able to do, but going into Xyz that he plays, he played one Levier, one Raid Raptor Four Strix, one Digesto Emerald, one Castell, the Sky Blaster Musketeer, and then one Elder Entity Norton to make use of the Instant Fusion. Now, he's got a pair of Dark Holes in the side deck. These were the only things that were in the side deck of the file that he sent me. I guess he's just considering them as options, but... Going forward, uh, if you do want me to play this deck for the channel for a dual video, I'm not against it, uh, but I feel like I'd be signing myself up for some really, really torturous nonsense. Uh, but if you want me to play this deck for videos, again, not against the concept. I do conceptually like Black Wings a lot, and I would be down to uh, play it. So let's see. If this video gets 300 likes, I'll consider it. If it gets 500 likes, definitely 100% doing it for one, maybe two dual videos. 
uh, just because uh, uh, I can torture myself only so far. <laughs> so what have I just signed myself up for? I signed myself up for playing Black Wings. Yes, I have. Uh, but that's all up to you guys. But basically, if you have any critiques for this list, then definitely leave them in the comments down below because, I, again, I would like to see them. I would definitely like to see uh, any critiques to this list. Now, the biggest problem I have with Black Wings is that their cards are just horribly outdated. Uh, my stance on Black Wings is that they have really good cards. They have really, really good cards by 2009-2010 standards. What do I mean by that? In 2009-2010, the game was played at a, different, at a different speed. It had a much different emphasis on different parts of the game. Nowadays, in 2017, if you're trying to win the game in your battle phase, then you are playing the wrong game during the wrong year. Now, what I mean by that is that a lot of the good Blackwing cards from way back when the deck was in its prime, if you look at it, they're all battle tactics, or they're really strong battle-enabled cards. Like, Shura is one of the strongest cards the Blackwing deck has. Kalut was on the ban list at 1 for a long time. So was Gale. Those involve having attack and gaining attack to monsters. Battle tactics. Bora does piercing. Uh, like, all of these different things. Uh, like, the level 6 uh, synchro that they used to have, Armed Wing, it had battle tactics. Uh, Armor Master can't be destroyed by battle. Like, it's a battle tactic. This deck was very heavily oriented towards battle tactics. And in 2017 Yu-Gi-Oh, we're outing our opponent's boards before we win the game. We're clearing their boards and then attacking for game, but we're not using the battle phase as a facilitator to out their board anymore. That is something that has really lost its uh, sense of focus in the game since like 2012. 2012 and early 2013 were the only like real times we were using the battle phase as a legitimate method to outing people's uh, boards. It was just the it was like the last real time when that was like a prime example of things that you could expect in Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, was using the battle phase to facilitate advantage gain. Um, but that's just not something that exists anymore. And most of the good Blackwing cards use battle phase tactics to try and facilitate advantage gain. And that's just a little bit outdated, unfortunately. So that's that's the ultimate reason why Blackwings are ultimately just not really that top-notch, top-tier. Because they've got access to being a stun deck. They've got good traps. They've got some of the most insane traps I've ever seen, in fact, are themed Blackwing cards or can directly support Blackwings. I mean, Icarus Attack is a is a godly card if you know how to play it correctly. You can always make it into a plus one if you're doing it right. And then you have other cards like Delta Crow Anti-Reverse, which is literally a heavy storm for the set cards. Like, you can just play that against a board of fresh sets and just win the game outright. It's a blowout card. Like, there's so many different things that this deck has access to, which are actually just really key and really cool. But unfortunately, the deck's engine itself is just not the best tuned to support it in 2017 Yu-Gi-Oh! Now, the main thing that I can say as, an, like, as a supporter of this is Black Whirlwind itself. This card is at 3, and this card is fantastic for the Blackwing deck. But unfortunately, it being the best searcher this deck has is still really outdated, unfortunately. I mean, you can compare this card to two cards from more recent archetypes, Union Hanger and Magical Meltdown. Union Hanger is essentially Black Whirlwind, plus the Blackwing monster in one card. Same thing with Magic Meltdown. With Union Hanger, you activate it, you get your Union monster to hand, you normal summon it, then Union Hanger equips a Union monster from deck to it. So you get just two cards for free off the one Union Hanger. You don't have to require Black Whirlwind and then normal summon a Blackwing to search a smaller Blackwing. That's not something that exists. With Magical Meltdown, you activate Magical Meltdown, you search your Alistair, you normal summon Alistair, you get your Fusion Spell, you activate your Fusion Spell, Fusion summon your guy for basically free by banishing your Alistair from board or from graveyard, then the Fusion Spell shuffles itself back into deck, recurring itself, and then Alistair comes to your hand from your banish zone. So, off of your Magic Meltdown, you have gained, you, you've gained a Fusion Monster, and you've gained the Alistair back in your hand to be a follow-up normal summon the next turn. It's basically just a much better version of Black Whirlwind for different decks. Um... Now, there are good things that you can do with Black Whirlwind that those cards can't. You can activate two Black Whirlwinds in a turn, and you can start, you know, stacking up plus twos on your opponent, and that's when it starts getting spicy, especially when you throw, like, No Thung into the into the situation. If you open with, like, P with, uh, with Pinaki, double Whirlwind, and you're able to go into a No Thung, that's insane. You're getting four Black Whirlwind searches that turn. That's pretty cool. But otherwise, there's just not really a lot that you get to do with this deck with its engine, because its engine doesn't really stack up to, uh, to the decks of the format, uh, to like the decks of the format since like 2014. Uh, this deck had three Whirlwind, three Gale, and like a bunch of new support cards in like early 2014, or it at least had all of its support that it had back when it was in its prime 
in early 2014, uh, in when uh, like uh, when Dragon Rulers had gotten banned, but the deck couldn't even compete with like Mermail and Fire Fist, um, just because those decks operate on a different spectrum. They're outing your board during main phase. They're outing like equivalents of stuff during the main phase. Now, Black Wings did get a card that sort of helps address this in the form of Rikiri. Rikiri allows you to out things outside of the battle phase, and it's a very strong card. Black Wings just need more of those types of cards, or else they're just not going to be relevant. Uh, now, we did get Brio back, which is another one of those cards that outs things outside of the battle phase. So, I mean, it's definitely still a strong contender uh, for something that could shift how Black Wings could be focused on and played. But ultimately, I don't think it's going to cause too much of a big hubbub of, like, how it's going to affect how things play out. Because, I mean, sure, you can Blizzard as a one-card Brio, but ultimately, it's still Brio. You're going to bounce, be bouncing the resources, and less you're outright killing your opponent, I doubt it's going to be a huge factor, all that sort of stuff. But this deck definitely has a lot of support and a lot of new support that strengthens its engine far past whatever it had in 2009, 2010, and it's got every single card that it had during that time frame back at full quantities. The problem is it's just, uh, unfortunately, it's just a bit outdated, but those are my opinions. Like I said, if you want me to play this deck, then definitely just like this video. If it gets 300 likes, I'll consider it. If it's 500 likes, I will definitely 100% do it for not only one, but probably two videos. Uh, but leave your uh, comments down below of critiques of this deck, because I'm curious, and I'm sure he's curious as well. But other than that, let me know what your thoughts are. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching all this sort of nonsense. Be sure to like and subscribe and check out the links in the description to my Facebook and Patreon pages. The Facebook fan page is a place where you can go chat with me and all that sort of nonsense. It's just... It's just it's an easy way to get in touch with me and an easy way to chat with me and do stuff like this. If you want to send me a deck list to possibly do a profile on and talk my opinions about as well, then you can also send a deck list to my email address, which is in the description as well. But other than that, in the description, there's a link to my Patreon page. It is a direct way to support the channel and support me if you're interested in doing so. I'm doing monthly giveaways at the end of each month for the people that are nice enough and find it within the goodness of their hearts to help me out. And just to say thank you to them, I'm doing giveaways at the end of each month. So if you want details on that, definitely go check out my Patreon page and maybe consider donating yourself. At the end of this month, I'm giving away a couple of sealed boxes of Dula Saga to some of the people that are in my donors. And uh, I'm going to be giving out multiple to different people so there's not just one person winning stuff. So that's just my little way of saying thank you to those people that have supported me in the best way they possibly can. But other than that, if you're looking to buy or sell cards or maybe acquire some Blackwing cards that you see in this deck profile or even some other things and you want to indirectly support the channel, then check out Second Chance Gaming's website. Their link is also in the description and they're a direct sponsor of me and this channel and I'm a big fan of how they do business with what I've experienced so far. So if you're looking to acquire cards or if you just want to check them out, then just let them know that Phoenix sent you, alright? But other than that, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time as usual. This video has been a little strange, but kind of like the format of it as well just like saying my thoughts on stuff but other than that that's it thanks for your time as usual guys take care i'll see you in the next video later